Hi everyone, we're going to look at doing um, an area render or render region, whatever you want to call it today in Cheetah 3D. Um, this isn't my own technique, it's one by um, Cheetah 3D user Frank Beckman. Um, there isn't much that Frank doesn't know about Cheetah. I, I actually don't know if there's anything that Frank doesn't know about Cheetah, so if it's one of his tips, it's usually a good one. So looking at this scene that I've got here, and this is from one of my other tutorials, um, how to create and render a magnifying glass. It takes a while to render this one, so we might want to look at rendering just a part of it to make sure things are right. So we might want to kind of render a little bit of the handle, make sure that's looking all right, or a little bit of the glass without rendering the whole thing because it takes a while to do. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that because Cheetah doesn't natively support um, area render. It's not something that it does, but there's a way to fake it. And this is the way. So what we do is we create a plane. So I've got my plane there. I'm just going to change the sections to three and change the depth. The section is depth to three, should I say. So you can see that those sections have been applied there. And the next thing I want to do on this plane is mirror the position of the camera. So I'm going to copy these values. Camera position. So the first position, copy that in, and paste it in there. Second position, copy paste, third position, copy, paste, I'm going to do the same with the rotation of the camera, so I'm going to copy that first rotation value there, again, just copying and pasting using Apple C, Apple V, I'm sure you're all pretty familiar with those shortcuts by now, if you're using a Mac you will be anyway, if you're using a PC, well, you won't have Cheetah. And you should be using a Mac anyway. Um, right, okay. So I've copied those values over and I'm going to switch now to the perspective camera. I like the perspective camera because it means I can kind of move around without messing the camera position up. So what we can see there is that our plane is kind of positioned all right for the camera. I actually want to rotate it so it's kind of flat onto the camera. So what I want to do is rotate that roughly 90 degrees from there it doesn't matter if it's exact I'm just going to bring that forward a little bit so it's directly in front of the camera I'm going to switch to the camera view sorry I did that with my um, shortcut key which is one and two for me to switch between perspective and camera so looking through my camera all I'm seeing is the plane and looking from my perspective view I can see the planes in front of the camera I'm just going to bring that forward a little bit next thing I'm going to do is make the plane editable I'm going to double click that in the object browser and I'm going to knock out or delete that middle polygon so now if I switch to my camera view, I'm looking through the hole. And you can see the surrounding area of that. Um, a bit big at the moment, so what I'm going to do on my perspective camera is I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to switch to edge mode. And I'm going to grab these edges here. And I'm going to leave them selected now. And I can switch to scale. And I'll just scale them down. I'm going to switch to camera view now. And you can see that area is getting smaller. So I'm going to position that. I think we'll do the handle for this demo. I'm going to click on the move tool and move that a little bit farther. Uh, I'm just going to position that somewhere roughly there. So I'm just going to render a small portion of the handle so I'm not wasting any render time. So that's what's going to render. If we render it now, what we want to do is add a material to that plane and, and I've got this white material here um, and all I've got on that is I've got a white diffuse channel and I've got a white emissive channel I think Frank says that grey is actually quicker um, I'm going to stick with white though because I just like the effect it gives so we've got our plane in place we've got a little region set up the only other thing we need to do is drag the plane into the camera in the object browser. And what that will do is, now that plane will always come with the camera. So if you move the camera around and reposition the camera, the plane will always be there. So let's give that a render, I think. Yeah, why not? Let's hit the render button on that one. So hopefully what's happening here is... Yeah, we're rendering out just the plain white which is a lot quicker than rendering the whole scene 
and it's going to get down to this region that we're really concentrating on and it's going to focus on that okay so you can see our region is rendered uh, I'm quite happy with that so we could probably commit to a full render now I'm just going to show you a couple more things that you might need to know on this one so we've got our plane um, directly in front of the camera which is all great except for now I can't see the scene can I so what you will need to do is select the plane click in the object browser and you may want to check on check and check visible in editor and visible in renderer and switch these on and off as you need them um, it is pretty useful it's worth having one of these set up if you've got a complex render going on um, it, it does a a decent job area render to be honest and I, I don't know if there's any plans for area render to become available in tutor anytime soon but this method works it's not difficult to do um, and yeah just just give it a try I'm just going to switch it back on a minute and just show you something so I'm going to jump to the perspective camera so you can see the planes directly in front of the camera on the perspective view what I'm going to do now is just move the camera around a little bit so I'm going to jump into the camera mode and you can see I'm moving things around here and our little a little plane that's serving as our area renders coming coming with the camera which is exactly what we wanted. Um, so have a bit of a mess about with that guys and then think about setting that up on your next render because it's uh, it's really quite a useful tip to to know. Okay thanks for watching as usual and uh, until next time.